I'm starting with the city structure. Yeah, the first, uh, you need to first understand, uh, it's a uh, user experience this morning. It takes about 10 and a half hours, right? Uh, for the South Korea. So it was a very intentional location to answer uh, for uh, minimizing the optimal location for reaching out the insights of the Korea location. Because when they decide to where uh, we're going to move our center of function, uh, it is a very critical issue, right? A lot of uh, 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 department uh, uh, locations, they want to uh, locate uh, this uh, infrastructure function for this. There are a lot of competition. Where are we going to host this uh, second hour uh, central city for functioning uh, kind of capital? So uh, it, it has been a long debate, but it was not really first time in Korean history. Even in the 1970s and 80s, uh, well now uh, the conflict between North and South has been released, but in 1970s it was very severe. So because, as you know, the Seoul is very close to the border of DMZ, to North Korea, so a lot of the debates always uh, we have, we need to move our capital uh, to a safer, uh, more distant from the North. Mm -hmm. So this area has been uh, considered many, many times, even if uh, we uh, really move the central government function to this location. So uh, after a long debate, because it's a long history, uh, so uh, they decided to this location. And, and the uniqueness of this uh, location is because it's kind of empty, but it's uh, really close to the another city desert. Because when you move to a very isolated area, it is hard to connect with other uh, cities. Uh, when we first moved this, uh, because uh, the uh, basic necessities uh, such as uh, shopping and grocery stores, it's not well prepared. So in the initial stage, we have to first enough to uh, you know, settle down uh, near to some uh, you know, already settled down the city, there was a desert. It was about uh, half an hour from here uh, to, the, to the south. Another big consideration is if this new capital, well, it's not a capital, kind of capital city, is close to Seoul, then it could be commutable, right? Now it's about 10 and a half hours. Of course, we can commit, and also a lot of people are working at central government still coming because most of the people they move to look from south to here uh, but if it's close uh, they don't want to move because the, another important uh, rational for this location is because uh, as you know the soul is too crowded and a lot of functions uh, you know and other functions they're all uh, highly concentrated they need to have a lot of uh, consequences and uh, congestion issues uh, but however as you know private sectors uh, they don't have any motivation for moving their companies and others. Even we have incentivized for uh, balancing our uh, national government. So what we did is instead, uh, there are some uh, strategic election, and they said that this is uh, our agenda. We need to relocate our central government from the Seoul to here. But not really close to Seoul, then that could be commutable, and nobody wants to really move. But it's not really that far uh, to become a center of Seoul. So that, that's why this location has been determined uh, as a kind of a, a candidate for uh, capital. So originally, initially, uh, some, some little bit of political issue because the Seoul is a, uh, been history of the center for more than 600 years. So a lot of legacies there, a lot of power and authorities uh, and also stakeholders. Uh, they are concerned about when you locate our capital, they can lose their permanent property value. So uh, the people who has uh, their power and uh, legacy to Seoul, uh, they do not really like the idea of location. And also there are, there are a lot of political issues that have been done. If, if, even still that is on the way. Yeah, so the kind of compromise is we did not really move the capital. Capital means including president of office. Yeah. Well, originally it was intended, but there are some constitutional debates. So that is unconstitutional. So our decision was uh, we cannot move president itself. That is kind of very iconic. Uh, landmark building, and uh, the most important thing comes except for president office and some other foreign affairs and military defenses. It could be those uh, very critical, but related to uh, the presidential uh, location is remain in Seoul with other functions, including a mullet, such as manifesting land, uh, sorry, the Ministry of uh, Land and Industry Transport, and other most important uh, uh, functions, central government functions have to move to uh, there, yeah. So th this is the location for uh, real central government. Can you see in the center near to lake, uh, 
there are some wavy buildings. I haven't noticed, but there is a, a building for uh, central government. So now, because I, I have explained the background of the relocation capital, Indonesia, right? We have seen from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. uh, Indonesia now, uh, so Jakarta is your capital. But now you are relocating your capital, right? So now it is what I'm simple again uh, with the uh, primary function. Other uh, central government function has to begin to move uh, since 12, 2012. It took about 10 years. So this area uh, has been started the construction uh, about 2007. It was kind of empty, kind of agricultural land, but it's kind of master plan of city. So it took about five years to open uh, this. Uh, this area is developed as a pilot village because it's close to the river, this is Bungang River, and it has the better amenities. So because it was a kind of empty and it's not really close to its source, so there was no really uh, uh, important incentive motivation for uh, stimulating people's moving to other cities. So they have given some uh, incentives such as some uh, tax subsidies, uh, some, you know, some vouchers, uh, for allowing them uh, easily to move from uh, some other uh, cities to here. So this area has been first developed uh, as a kind of pilot, the first better town. Uh, then uh, we have moved uh, another functions uh, since 2012. Mm -hmm. So you may remember, uh, if you ask me how, how many years it took, the first part, this part uh, needs about five years from 2007 to 2012. By that time, only these two areas had been developed. So as you can see, and also you briefly saw from the video, the, there are many uh, urban design ideas has been uh, set up for this uh, function and this area. So basically it consists of six. So one is uh, here, one district one, district two. Uh, so district one is for central government. And district two is for culture and international exchange. And there is number three. Yeah, number three is across the river. This is for city function. So this is for Sejong city itself. So number two, uh, number one district is for central government for the entire country. Uh, but this uh, number three is for Sejong city itself. So city hall is located, as you can see, uh, near to that Bushi uh, Hengzhong, if you can read Korean. You can see the mark. Uh, it says Sejong city, and that is a building for city hall. So this is a district three. And district four, this is for college and research. And this number five is for medical and welfare. And number six is for uh, some innovation and industrial sector. So there's some justification and reasoning rational for uh, when they allocate the functions of each <coughs> district. So because this is a kind of iconic that they made as a center for central function, again, this is uh, close to the river. So they have made this for culture, and also it's close to Dega, another city. So uh, two uh, uh, more mingled with those existing cultural functions. And uh, because it's close to the river, right? So they want to make this area is like a riverside town uh, next to uh, the city hall. And number four is design uh, for uh, what is it? College and um, you know, industrial uh, idea. Because you are not able to see here from this direction and usually this street, it will be connected to Dejan. Uh, there is a complex of one of the uh, internationally largest and influential uh, industrial and research complex uh, in, you know, such as within the Kais and other uh, you know, very prominent uh, research institutions there. It is geographically close. So they have assigned this area for those research and other functions. And in the afternoon, we're going to visit uh, the Korea uh, Transport Institute that was located there. So those uh, national think tanks, uh, such as Chris, as you know, and this copy from uh, the transportation, and other, uh, there are more than uh, 20 those national think tanks. They were already originally located near to Seoul or other places, but we have moved all those functions into uh, research cluster uh, the buildings we're going to visit uh, in this afternoon. So that is number five, and number four. Uh, number four. And number four, five is uh, developed for medical and welfare. But the one uh, significant thing uh, you need to bear in mind is because the pilot area for smart city, the five nation, one district, located there. Yeah. Because there is an available space, and also because we need an ample space to pack the bed. Because this six district, 
because I mean, let me just conclude with uh, the six to six, six, six. Yeah, because this is uh, 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 designed for uh, some industrial complex, and also because there are already even before this development, there are some manufacturing uh, companies and some industrial sectors already remain in this area. So rather than uh, kicking them out, you want to retain them. You want to enhance existing uh, potential uh, for proximal with existing uh, companies in such a uh, uh, the manufacturing sectors. So we have all those things. So different, uh, there are some, uh, so there was some, some very basic introduction to how this 636 has uh, developed. But you know what, uh, as you just saw from uh, the video that it says 2030, because again, remember, it has begun 2007 from the construction, the target year for population about for half a million, and also the target year for composition was 2030. So still eight years remaining. But instead of developing entire city, uh, because there are a lot of problems, because if you can make everything once, it's hard to change uh, if there are some problems, because it's kind of first hour trial. So such as there is a, this is in terms of a generation of uh, new town development in, in current history, I would say this is kind of a second half generation. So in, in Seoul area, uh, there are first generation of new town, such as Bunda, that is to the south, and Gilsan, to the west. So that's a suburban development uh, for uh, controlling uh, property development issues and also providing uh, more affordable housing options for the middle income classes. They have developed about 19, the later 1990s, when uh, real life democracy and so has been skyrocketed. So that master town, a master plan town, is the first generation of new town development. So when you have a chance, I strongly recommend you may take a, a visit. You can uh, get there by using some ways. You can, you can see some uh, kind of good, good model for a master plan city. But there are some drawbacks, right? Uh, because for instance, there's uh, no jobs. You have to come from uh, kind of the suburb to the downtown to Seoul. Yeah, so two, uh, yeah, all those issues, uh, when you design this, of course, uh, we want to try to make the city to become more gradual development. In case the first generation of the cities, we didn't have enough time. We want to make it uh, very quickly. We complete within five years. However, because we should develop always some uh, problems. So we didn't have enough time for solving those issues. So to mitigate uh, those issues in concern, and we, we provided a new idea uh, that is uh, that is uh, now uh, experimenting with this model is instead of developing entire city once, we want to make it gradually. So that's why we divide into six districts. So we developed from this one and two already. Uh, three was already done. Now four is under construction. If you go to five and six, this will kind of become empty. Yeah. So now uh, current population of Sejong City is about 380,000. But in each of the dips, if you go to the north, there is all the town. So this is very entirely new town, right? Mm -hmm. However, to the north, there's all the kind of rural town located. So including those rural towns, now entire population of about 380,000. So, so just remember again, the target population is 5,500. So still there is a room and space for those, those uh, existing uh, uh, buildings. So again, uh, back to the smart city idea. The reason, there are some couple ideas consideration when we determine where would be the best place for uh, testing those uh, smart city idea. So as you know, as we learn from a smart city class, there are two locations for uh, smart city national pilot study. Where is it? One is here, where is the other? Have we been on this class? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Busan. Yeah, Busan, Echo Delta City is the second one. Yeah, so I already explained well, why they are choosing the two cities, right? Excluding Seoul, Busan is the second city, and this is a capital city. So we uh, intentionally determined the two locations for testing uh, national pilot study for uh, the smart cities. Again, because that area is still kind of empty, so there are a lot of space that available for testing with those uh, uh, smart city ideas. Uh, and uh, well, there, there are many things I can explain for this, uh, but one more thing I would emphasize in terms of urban design.